What's up, everybody? This is That Brown Bat back once again for the next part of the Mod Masterclass. Today, we are going to redo from scratch the NPC mods. Well, at least one of them today, and then the next time we're going to do uh, another one because I have different styles based on the character. Some of them is just personal preference, and sometimes it's based on a character will only work a certain way that I've found. So last time I did uh, Iron Fist, I modded him according to White Tiger team up. Today I'm going to mod him according to Iron Fist and Marvel Battlegrounds. In the original video, I had said that I didn't know how to get those to work. And since then, I've been I've been doing those left and right. Nobody's asked me about it, but uh, I have perfected it to, it, uh, um, to my liking anyway not not saying I'm the best I'm not um, but uh, I do seem to be the only one that is giving uh, tutorials on this and I and I hope it's not uh, offending anybody and I hope it's helping because I have my own take on a lot of things uh, anyway let's get to it the first thing we're gonna have to do is get our assets folder open up and I'm just gonna go to my shortcut here and go to my assets and there's a few things that we're going to need we're going to need the dnx file for this particular build we're going to have to make a custom file a custom dnx file and we're going to need the toy box data map and the toy box actor lua files and that might be it and there might be more so yes there is more there is more. Um, so this is going to be an advanced tutorial. The easier one, I would say, if you want to watch an easier one and get something easier, try to go back and watch the original one. The link will be in the in the description for the original video. But uh, this is kind of advanced. So you might have to watch this more than one time and pause and back up and all that good stuff so anyway first things first we're in the assets folder let's go to the character file and we're going to have to find uh iron fist so that's under spd for spider-man spd underscore iron fist now that's the folder we don't want the folder today so remember the trick i showed you last time z goes right to the end of the folders spd underscore iron fist all right and that's the dnx and of course we hit enter we don't uh we can't read that so we have to decrypt it so remember how do we do that we do that with unlua c so i'm going to copy the dnx file and i'm going to open up my unlua c uh, folder which is in the di tools remember i put that on my desktop last time and i want that to open. All right, so I'm going to go into Unlua C and I'm going to paste that right in that folder. I'm going to open up the code uh, text or document file and then I'm going to go to my search bar and type in CMD. It's right there because I keep using it, but I'm going to open up command prompt and then again I'm going to put the directory of this folder in here and I do that by going to the command prompt, typing CD space. Control V for paste and enter. I'm right there. Now I need to copy this Iron Fist data uh, name, including the DNAX extension name, or yeah, dot DNAX, including the whole thing. Replace where it says blank all in caps, only that, no space. Don't, don't copy any spaces. Make sure you're only copying or highlighting the B L A N K. Control V, go to the end of it. I'm using all keyboard shortcuts. My apologies if it doesn't look like I'm doing anything with the mouse. I mean, I, I just use keyboard shortcuts. Control C, go back to command prompt, control V, enter. All right, now we have our file name ZZZ, and I'm gonna copy the entire name of this file again for Iron Fist, delete it, rename the ZZZ, make sure it is an actual file and it has the size of 45 or however many kilobytes it's going to be 
paste it. All right. And then I'm going to take it and put it in the DNX backup. Let's open it first. Yep. So you can read it. All right. I'm going to copy the iron fist and replace the, uh, the original one. All right. Now, now I have that opened. I'm going to leave that aside for right now or minimize it. And the next thing I'm going to need is Iron Fist Marvel Battlegrounds. Now, so typically the counterpart DNX file for the Marvel Battlegrounds NPC character will work with the NPC mod. There are certain instances, but it doesn't. And if that's the case, we have other methods that we can implement to get it to work. All right, so Iron Fist MBA, that's the character from Marvel Battlegrounds. You don't want that. You want the Iron Fist MBA underscore NPC, not the BMX. You know, this isn't bike bike racing. You want the DNX file. Again, it's encrypted. You want to decrypt it. So copy that. Go back to your unload C folder. Paste it in there, copy the entire name of it, go back to your code, control Z to undo the name of the blank, and then override that, copy the entire line, go back to the command prompt, control V, enter. All right. All right, so I'm going to copy that, I'm going to delete it, go to the Z, hit F2, override that, move this into the DNX file. All right, take the entire name of that, go back. And, uh, oops, did I just mess myself up? I think so. I moved it in here and now I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to override it in the characters file. All right. Now I'm going to open that and make sure it's in there. I should have opened that first, but I kind of trust myself <laughs> after doing it a thousand times. And there are a couple times I mess up and I was like, oh no, it's zero. Well, I didn't clear the recycle bin. <laughs> Plus, I already have a backup, so I can always do it again. All right, so I don't need, per se, to have that open, but I do need to copy this and make a copy of it. What I'm going to do is rename it, and I'm going to rename this file custom underscore SPD underscore iron fist. Okay. Now, let's set this DNX file up. Now I'm going to open up my custom one. All right. The one we just made. And right now, all it is is iron fist Marvel Battleground NPC. So the one that I'm going to mod, I'm going to set on the right. And the one that we already have open, the regular character Iron Fist, I'm going to set on the left. Because there's information I'm going to possibly copy over. So actor tag right here, you see that? Let me make this a little bit bigger, all right? See so actor tag right there? It's just player Iron Fist. And then over into the, the one that we're going to have as a custom NPC, it says player Iron Fist NBA. Guess what? doesn't really matter what you put in there. That's informational purposes. Uh, I, I have put other things in there. And if you look at spot, if you open up spot, spot says player Vanellope or something like that. So, so that's that. So the behavior map file you want to keep the same. Pretty much everything, because it's the same character, is going to be the same. The only thing I believe that we are going to need to change, well, first of all, is double check, make sure that uh, in the Steam version that they didn't put somebody else's name under the piece file. Iron Fist Pieces, model file. Oh, model name, my mistake, model name, Iron Fist. Now, this is giving the SPD Iron Fist folder and the SPD Iron Fist MBA model. I'm going to have to check my notes because 
I don't remember if I swap that out or not. Bear with me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my mod from my main mod folder. And yes, I did keep Iron Fist in here. Okay, so pretty much it's all going to be the same. Except for there's some bells and whistles that we're going to want to add. Now, you're going to have to bear with me and pay attention. All right? Because if you leave uh, spaces like this, it's not going to work. If you leave out quotation marks, it's not going to work. If you miss a line, it's not going to work. If you put these, see where these, this L2 right here? If you change the convention of the L, you know, if there's supposed to be an L2 there and you say L3 and it's supposed to be an L2, it's not going to work. It might load, but it won't work the way you, you want it to load. So there's certain things that if you, if you don't do or do, you're going to have problems. All right. All right. So I don't want to make any changes to that. So I, I'm just going to close this SBD uh, Iron Fist DNX because I believe the Marvel Battlegrounds one has everything that I need. So I'm not going to save anything on there because I did that. And I hit enter after a space and I didn't want to. So I'm not going to save it. So I'm going to go get my notes and just like before, and the old uh, video, I'm going to put these descriptions in the, or I'm going to put these codes in the description. And remember, uh, if you've already watched it, if you haven't watched it, copying the codes from other source sources, like uh, from WordPad or from the description, and you paste it in the, the next file, it's going to leave spaces. So make sure you have no spaces when you're done. Okay, so I am going to... I had to just load up the, uh, I had to just load up the, uh, playlist there, right? All right. And go to my modding tutorials and find the original Iron Fist one. Even though that was done differently, it should still have all the codes in there that we need. Oh, it's in the uh, pinned comment. Okay. Originally I gave Iron Fist shields. Um, well, if the NBA, if the Marvel Battlegrounds one works, we don't need to put shields on him because he'll block. We will need the health regen code because he won't have, he won't activate his health regeneration. I don't think they gave any of the Marvel Battlegrounds characters a health regen anyway. So first things first, I'm going to go to our custom folder file and I'm going to control F and I'm going to type health. All right, and it's not health meter, it's the second one. Nope, I'm a snake, and it's not the second one, it's the third one in the MBA folders. Okay, so you have health, allow, uh, invulnerable, regenerate delay, okay. We also wanna fix this health points too. I don't know what the default is, but we wanna set that. So that's why I have all this line of code in here for your use. And it's going to start right at the L2 equals health. And it's go down. It's going to go down to the L2 equals one hit FX. Again, these, I'm going to post the same thing. So don't worry about having to watch two videos because that would be kind of dumb. Um, so highlight from L2 underscore one equals health all the way down to L2 underscore one equals hit FX. All right. I'm going to replace that with what I just copied from the YouTube pin comment. All right. And it didn't leave any gaps. And because I'm using notepad, I can do a control Z and it'll highlight the original and I can hit control Z again. And then it'll highlight what I just pasted in there. Boom. Now, originally I said health of 600. As I've been playing around, I don't know, is, is, is health 600 good enough? Well, if it is, um, then maybe yes, maybe no. But I've been using 1,000 as default. 
So however you want to do it, if you want to fight Iron Fist and make short work of him, then thumbs up. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to give Iron Fist... Uh, one day, I'll, I doubt I'll ever have time to do this, but maybe I will, and make a, a spreadsheet of who I think should get what hit points. Um, that's all up to you, right? But I like to use 1,000 for base, 800 or 900 for weak characters, and then anything over 1,000 would be like Hulk, your Thor, your Captain Marvel, um, stuff like that. All right, so I'm just going to put 1,000 in there. And regenerate delay. And the last time I talked about the regenerate delay in part one, I said I didn't know if it was a ratio or if I didn't know I didn't know if it was this or that, the other thing. And what I think it is, if you put one, that means if I put one, regenerate delay, and then I put regenerate rate two, he's gonna regenerate two HP, I believe, every second. If I put zero, it's gonna be a constant two, 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 two. So it's not going to be every second. It's going to be just a continual flow. So I don't know. I know zero is less than a second. That's all I know. Um, so I'm guessing I'm going to put one for him. And since he has that ability anyway, I'm going to put three. Right? That might be too much, but we'll find out. Because the uh, other characters are going to have really, really, really high, like Hulk. He's going to be at 20. I mean, the only way to beat Hulk would be to have an OP Thor. In my estimation, right? That That's me, okay? That's that's me. That's that's my, my, my personal thing. All right. So I'm not giving him shields. If this works, he doesn't need shields. Do we want to resize Danny Rand? No, but just because we're here and I might use this as a template for other people, how about we throw in that resize code and I'll leave it at one just so I can do it later if I want. So I'm going to copy that code right where it says character resize code. And I'm going to go back to the top or the beginning of my custom DNAX. And I'm going to hit Control F again and type in kinematic, K-I-N-E-M. You don't have to type the whole thing. Kinematic state. And I'm going to replace from the beginning of that, L2 underscore 1 kinematic state, all the way down to the L1, L1, L2, 1 in brackets equals L3, 1. All right. And that's going to give me the extra line of code. I'm going to paste that in there. Control Z, Control Z. There, it's highlighted. Boom. All right. So he's still going to be the same size because I'm not changing it. Again, I might use this particular one for a template later on down the road. And if doing so, I might as well use the shields, right? So I'm going to go back home and type in shield. And we're going to do shield to skin swapper. Now, FYI, doing this for the playable characters for the shield will not add shields. It won't break your character, but it won't work for the shields. So I don't know why, but shields seem to only be, uh, it seems that you can only, uh, you're only able to add shields for playable characters if you somehow are able to manipulate their ability file. So... Unless there's a way around it, I don't know any way to add shields to a player character or if they don't already have shields. Otherwise, you know, unless you're modding their ability folder. All right, so I'm back there. I'm just going to replace that. It's shield all the way down to skin swapper. Paste. And I'm going to do a control Z, control Z, because you can only have one control Z back undo in a, in a notepad. And... His is set to zero, so he has no shields, and that's the way I want it because he should be able to know how to block. Another thing I want to make sure is go to carry, and I should have mentioned this before under the player characters, but that's fine. Marvel characters are set to have, to be all of them are super strong. 
all of them are at least super strong, and that's stupid. Um, there are certain items, not too many items, that can only be picked up if you're super strong, like the the dumpster. So if I remove super strong, it's not going to matter. For Actually, it will matter because they like to pick things up. Uh, but if I go super strong and remove that, make sure you don't remove the divider in there. I'm just going to remove super strong. Again, for the NPC, it probably won't affect him unless he's trying to pick up the the AI tries to pick something heavy up, but that's going to disallow it. So if you do that for the character file, he won't be able to pick up super heavy things because that's kind of weird. And the other thing is carryable. Now, allow carry means that they can pick things up. Carryable means they can be picked up by you, not other NPCs running on the same Marvel Battlegrounds uh, data. They can always pick each other up. Uh, probably they won't be able to if you get rid of allow carry, but I always leave that in there, allowing them to carry things. But I don't want him to be carryable by you. The thing is, or the reason why, is because if he's a boss, it makes him it makes him so easy to beat, right? So you can leave it in there. I'm just going to get rid of carryable. So that means the player characters can't pick him up. NPCs will, but you can't. If you don't like that, you can leave that in there. That's fine. And I think that's it for this um let me just uh oh there is one thing in it i'm in it to owner so i'm just going to type i n i t and it says in it to owners team false switch that to true this way when we make him an npc he's not going to automatically be a bad guy He's going to automatically be a good guy, but he's going to have no team affiliation. So we'll be able to assign him a team the way we're going to do this. But put true, otherwise you run into problems. Not, not technical problems, but setting up a toy box problems when they start beating on you and you don't want them to. <laughs> and you forget that, you know. So... I think right now, as we stand right now, that's all we need. So I'm going to hit control save. Now, this isn't going to be read by anything right now. So I'm going to minimize that. We need that to be picked up by the, the game engine, but there's nothing to read off a custom. Um, there's nothing to read off custom SPD fire, uh, iron fist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this uh, open here the assets characters and I'm going to open a new instance of the of the assets folder and I'm going to go to our favorite one that we've been doing using in the last few episodes and that is game DB and then I'm going to go to core all right now what I need are three different files and those three different files are not present the battle arena data map will file okay it's not there. Toy box actors file and the core uh, or the uh, toy box data map. So those three things. So it's going to be into the core zip. Remember I said in a couple episodes ago, I said core zip. We'll get to that later. Maybe I edited that out because it didn't have any relevance at the time. Um, I do know I said it, but you might not have heard it anyway. So we're going to copy Again, the address bar, and we're going to go back to our Disney Infinity tools. Remember, that's where we put the Unlua C, and we're going to go to the Quick BMS because we are going to unzip that file, and we're going to drag the Disney Infinity BMS onto the Quick BMS.exe, paste the uh, address that we just copied in the address bar up there, and then double click on core. And then hit save on the next window. All right, we're done with that window. Go back to your core and delete the zip file or rename it so it can't be read. But you should already have a backup of this in case something goes awry. I'm going to go into the core file. 
I'm going to hit control A. Well, before I do that, make sure there's no folders. There shouldn't be. Nope. Good. I'm going to hit control A, control X to cut, hit back to go back out. And then I'm going to paste it in the main core file. All that stuff. Every single thing. Check the core, the secondary core folder. It's empty. Delete it. All right. Now, I'm going to hit F5 to refresh. Make sure everything's in order <clears throat> by name. And let's type in T-O-Y. All right. Toy box uh, actors. Let me hit enter. It is encrypted. We have to decrypt it. So one thing at a time. I'll close that out. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to the unlua C file, paste that in there. And I'm also going to back that up. I know it's a Lua file. I'm going to throw that in the DNAX file. And I mean, you could rename that DNAX and Lua files if you want, but I'm going to copy the entire name of that, uh, of that file. And by the way, Lua files, uh, the same thing as DNAX files. I didn't mention this before because some certain things are already done and set in stone on my computer. Make sure Lua files uh, can be open by default with whatever folder or whatever program you're using. So if you're using a virtual reader, make sure it's default. Um, by the way, if you're using virtual reader, uh, you already know any of this, all of this, and you don't need me to tell you anything. But if you're using Notepad, make sure it opens specifically with Notepad so you don't have to keep on having that pop-up menu. You probably already know this by now, but so I'm gonna, I already copied that. So I'm gonna go to that code folder and I'm gonna hit control Z and I'm gonna override that blank name and I'm going to copy that entire line again. Go back to command prompt, control V, enter. Now the new file is listed as ZZ. I'm gonna copy that entire name and delete that, uh, the uh, encrypted file. I'm gonna rename ZZZ, whoops. Rename ZZZ, hit enter, and check it. Good, we can read it. Close that, cut it, put it in the DNAX file, folder, I'm sorry, copy it, and then we're going to replace that in here. Okay, I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to minimize it. Next thing we're going to need is the toy box data map, which is right under it. All right, again, encrypted. Close it out, copy it, give it the same treatment. All right, let's open it. Good, I'm gonna minimize that. And then we need battle arena data, data battle arena data, data map. So type in B-A-T-T, -T, battle arena data map. All right, see if we can open that. Nope, encrypted. Give it the same treatment in the Unlua file. All right, now we have our three folders open. So the easiest part, we're gonna do that, is go to your toy box actors, and then we're going to find the blockhead version, you know, the little tiny towns person of, of, uh, of, of Iron Fist. So I'm gonna hit a control F to find and I'm going to type in blockhead, parentheses, iron fist. You don't have to close the parentheses because it should take you right there. Okay, so now we make that a little bit bigger so you can get... Every time I make it bigger, it throws me off when we find it again. There we go. So let me show you how this is set up for the most part. So the, see these chevrons right here? These are the dividers between each entry. So what I have highlighted here is the blockhead information for Iron Fist for the toy box actors, right? So right under that, that those two chevrons right there is the next one, and that would be for the Gamora Towns person, right? And the next one would be for the train Jupiter. We need to replace this. Townspeople RR.dnex. 
because that's where it's getting this iron fist from. So that second one was model def, uh, definition, our, our iron fist. So, and then it tells you it's default toy box male. And apparently the uh, female and the male in uh, the townspeople uh, actually have different uh, actions. Type that in again. Because every time I change the size of the font, I lose my spot. So from here, after the slash, we're going to replace. But we need to leave the, uh, the quotation mark. You don't need to leave the uh, semicolon. You can if you want. All right. Find your custom and take the entire name of it, including the DNX, right? Copy it. And go back to your uh, toy box actors and for Iron Fist Blockhead, you're going to... I'm going to leave the semicolon just to follow suit. So... And I'm going to replace where it says townspeople underscore RRD next, da, 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 that whole thing right there, what you see highlighted. I'm going to paste it. So it's going to go, it's going to find that DNX file, right? So if I load up right now, that blockhead is going to bring out, instead of the blockhead, it's going to bring out Iron Fist, but he won't attack. And we should uh, test this out just to make sure so far so good. All right, so now, oops, wrong button. Come on. Let me go vehicles and actors and find characters town, character towns people. It's hanging left for the Marvel ones. Let's get Iron Fist, put him right there. And something didn't work. So now we have to ascertain what did we not do right? because he should at least load that model. And my guess is it has something to do with the NBA info that I didn't change. So let's go back to the drawing board and I'm gonna look for the problem why, and then I'll be back with an answer. So sit tight. All right, so I overrode the DNX file with my old one, and he shows up. So it is definitely something in the DNX file. So let me let me look and see what it is. All right, I found out what it was, and these are the things that these little things that can happen if you're not paying attention. And I'm glad I did it, so I can show you that when if if for some reason you make a mistake and try to come on me and ask me what you did wrong i don't know and the only reason i'm this really it, it does irritate me uh when i get these questions saying that it didn't work for me didn't work for me what did i do wrong i don't know and so you know i'm i'm supposed to be a nice guy i'm a nice guy but but i really it, it sit in my seat and listen to the the comments i don't know what you did because i'm not there present with you you know be specific screenshots this that the other thing what did you you did something all right but don't don't accuse me of giving you a false tutorial anyway i'm not talking to the masses i'm talking to probably like five people anyway the best thing to do uh if you did a lot of uh, if you did more than one adjustment the best thing to do is start over from scratch. That's why we make backups. And then eventually you'll find out what you did. But I went back to the uh, the YouTube site here, the my video here, and I see shield code, right? And I'm looking. I didn't highlight the quotation marks under uh, after skin swappers. So that one little thing will, will cause the character not to load. So I'm going to... Type in swapper here. Look at that. No quotation mark at the end. So I'm just going to add the quotation marks, save it, and now play. Vehicles and actors, down one, two, three, over, 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 over. Where are you, Iron Fist? What? Okay. 
Let me back out. I must have forgot something else. Let's check. Let's go to, we also uh, did kinematic state. So let's go to kinematic state. Uniform scale, parry window, locomotion. Where was the last part of that? L31. Nope, that was fine. All right, let's check the health regen code. Hit FX. It's the last one. And look at that. I didn't copy the quotation mark. So that might be some of the things that you did if you were having problems maybe you missed that that quotation mark because i missed it twice by copying my own notes and it's there i can i can see it on the youtube site so apparently when i went and selected it i did not select that quotation mark so now let's check it this should work because i don't see anything else i added Vehicles and actors. One, two, three. Left, 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 left. Iron fist. No. I don't know how that happened. I just did it really quick. Left, 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 left. Iron fist. All right. There we go. Now, there's one more thing that we have to change on him. And that is. Nice to see you. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All right, so of course he doesn't have any animations uh, for for his uh, fighting, but it's still rendering as he's kicking the crap out of me. Okay, but if I beat him, right on target. Now watch. All right. Now, once he comes back, he can't be defeated again. We can't even hit him. So we have to we have to get rid of that. So he's just going to be in the toy box wrecking havoc on, on anybody. And then he does that. All right. So we don't want that to happen either. But hopefully we can get rid of that. If we can't, we'll remedy it um, with another solution. So what you do... In your custom folder or a cust in your custom dnx file go back to the beginning control f and search for tardis wee -oo, wee -oo. all right so we want to get rid of the tardis respawn and the line to delete would be highlight or is it tardis respawn all the way down to right above target mode, but not including target mode. So basically you need to have this number here, this line here, right? See where it says L1, 2, 1, 3, 1. You need to have that separating here and target mode. Hence that's right before it. So that's the code you're going to delete. Don't delete the one above TARDIS respawn. You need at least one of those. You need one of them in there to for it to run. But I hope you can see. I co I hope you can see the method uh, to what's going on here. All right. But tar this this line of code, this target respawn code, or TARDIS respawn code, respawn code is is what makes them come back uh, and keep spawning over and over again. So I'm going to delete that out of there. Make sure there's no gaps. All right. So that's once he's defeated. I'm not going to go back through and defeat. Uh, fight him again, but that's going to cause him to stay dead once he's dead. Okay? And then we want to show the health. Alright, so remember when we copied that health code? Search for health again. Go to that code. So when you find that line of code that we put in there, remember health all the way down to hit effects? All right, the one that I put in there on the YouTube uh, video comment says, allow targeted enemy health UI false. Well, if you change that to true, it'll show the, the health points. And if they have shields, it'll show that too. So just type in true. 
And you don't need quotation marks after that. No, so don't worry about that. So now you'll see his health when he loads up. See right there? Now, since we're on the same team, he's not gonna hey, how are you? He's not gonna show it unless I highlight the uh, magic wand at him, but as soon as I do that. Yeah, you're broken. And every time I aim at him, it's gonna show it. But anyway. Let's make them not broken. Okay, so remember we opened up Toy Box Data Map, and we opened up the Battle Arena Data Map as well. So go to your Battle Arena Data Map, Control F, and look for SPD underscore Iron Fist, and what you want is the NBA. NPC. I think it's underscore NPC. Yes, right there. That is what you want. All right. So you're going to copy that. Now you can copy it from the L2, but it's going to really mess you up. So or it's going to be harder than what it is because it is kind of tedious what you're going to do. But once you do it a couple times, you can kind of sidestep some of these uh, steps later on because you're going to use this as a template for the most part. Uh, so, see where it says L3 underscore. Oh my goodness. Every time I zoom in. All right, L3 underscore one equals chevrons. All right, go all the way down until right before the next character. And that would be right here. So next character would be Nick, Nick Fury NBA and you don't want that. So you're going to highlight all that. You're going to copy it. Now, this is where the fun begins. All right. I'm going to say, make a folder in your DI tools. Make it somewhere and call it uh, modded character script or something. So hit enter. I mean, make that new folder, whatever, name it, whatever. And uh, I'm going to make a new text document. And I'm going to call this Iron Fist MBA. And it actually is NPC data. All right. And I'm going to paste what I just copied in there. All right. I'm going to save that. We want that because there could be a chance you mess things up. Could be a chance that I mess things up through this and show you my mis uh, my, my mistakes, even though I've done this before. But the thing is, once you do templates, you don't ever go. You don't typically ever have to go back to to do it from scratch again. So I might make some mistakes because I haven't done this from scratch in many about what about a year. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is. I'm going to make a new one. Actually, you know what? Um, it's going to be tough to explain, and I don't know if I, I explained this before. We're going to call this new one Iron Fist. Um, NPC. Custom NPC. Or how about this? custom iron fist all right so right now there's no data in there because i didn't put anything in there okay you have your new custom iron fist doc document text document and you have your nba one all right so i'm going to close the nba one because i have so many things open right now i just don't want to lose track and i'll open it when i need it what we're going to use here for a template Go back to your toy box data map. Go to the home, control home, control F for find, and look for now the player character. Keep in mind, you're in the toy box data map, not the battle arena data map. They use two different naming conventions, I guess you would call. So we want to go off the toy box data map because that's what we're going to enter. But we needed the information from Iron Fist. Marvel Battlegrounds in order to get um, 
the mod input or the, the lines we're going to copy and replace. So I'm going to type in SPD underscore Iron Fist. And Iron Fist Immortal, that's the white costume. I don't want that. I'm not looking for that. How about we do this? Put quotations around the entire thing. Now we have SPD underscore Iron Fist. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything from L41. down to the end of it and the end of every character's file is going to look the same it's going to have an end usually unless they rearrange these some of them are rearranged i think but for the most part you're going to have the same bottom lines you're going to have the l41 point includes equals l5 underscore one and then under that you're going to have the l2 underscore one you know as you can see right there and then you're going to have the next entry so i'm going to copy this Okay, all this, all the Iron Fist stuff. Make sure it's the right Iron Fist. So I'm gonna minimize that. I'm gonna go over to the custom Iron Fist. And I'm gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna save it, that's the custom Iron Fist. Okay, now we want Iron Fist MBA stuff in here. So now I'm gonna open up the Iron Fist MBA stuff. And I wanna put that over to the left and I'm gonna put the custom Iron Fist over on the right. Now, what we need are the game DB core info uh, lines from Iron Fist. Now notice right here, there's one, two, three, four. And over on the character one that we're gonna replace, we have three. So that's fine, all that means is we're gonna to have to redo some numbers. Alternatively, you can go through the Iron Fist NBA NPC and, and rearrange all the numbers down here. And that is going to take you a long time unless you have a program that's gonna do that for you. And I don't have a program that's gonna do that for me, so I'm doing it like this. To me, it's easier. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna paste that. Okay. I should have pasted the DNA file, but let me hit undo. Control Z, DNA, behavior, script. So you see how it starts with the game DB on each one, then it goes to the DNA, then the script. All right, then the behavior. This is the main stuff, is the behavior tree. All right, this does not have a behavior tree because it's based on the player character. So the behavior tree is uh, here it's based on the AI. So you need to have that in there. The choreographies uh, are pretty much the same, uh, if not identical. Just want to make sure that... Uh... Okay, we're good. So watch. From here, it's, it starts at L51 and it ends at L44, okay? We're gonna still have to rename some, uh, yeah, rename some numbers, but not as much as we would if we just revamped the entire MPC file. So copy all of that. Then you're gonna go over to the Iron Fist, uh, the custom one, and highlight from L6, right? All the way down to where it says L36 underscore one. Got it? Paste that. Control Z, Control Z. Just make it just so I can see what I just put in there. Now let's rename things. Okay? So you have to have these first two here. You see how that starts at L4 and then L5, and then the Marvel Battleground starts at L3 and L4. So everything has to go in sequence in order after the L5. So you're gonna start out with L6, then seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So everything is gonna be increased in integer by one, by one integer. All right, so now it goes down to 41. And I'm sorry, it goes down to 
45. Next thing you want to do is what's good about this, doing it this way, is it starts out at the L5 to L6, whereas all these are L4s on the left. And changing all those is going to be dumb. So this is the easiest way that I'm doing right here that I'm showing you. But the right-hand side, you want it to match the last one of this top section here. So the right-hand side needs to go to L41. And you can see right here, it only goes to 36. So I'm going to copy that line and see 36, 7, 8, 9, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm just going to do this and I have to rename all of it. So 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 45. And then I have to rename what's in the brackets. 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. And what's in the brackets and over here are always going to be five uh five integers apart next we have to do it underneath or next we have to do the second section and of course we only have three here but we have a whole mess here and again this starts at l5 we're going to have to do some renaming here not a big deal so I'm going to copy all that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just replace all that. Control Z twice so I can see what I just did. Then I'm going to rename starting right here, going six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now over here, they have to meet 13 on the right. So all I'm going to do is go back up here and steal the information from up here. Go down to 13, copy, and just replace all of this. And if you do it right and you don't replace where it says includes and all that, you should have a work on a work in Iron Fist NPC mod. So I'm going to take this entire folder entry copy then i'm going to go back to the toy box data map go to the home and we're going to find the blockhead iron fist control f type blockhead parentheses or yeah yeah parentheses iron fist enter now we're going to replace the l4 underscore one equals blank chevrons all the way down to the end of it before you hit blockhead Gamora. And I'm going to hit control V and override it. Then as I like to do, I'm going to hit control Z reverts back to what it was and control Z again. So I can see the newly and I can see the newly entered stuff highlighted. I want to save it. Now it's time to test it. All right. Go to our vehicles and actors, go down three and go over until we get to Iron Fist. Default, he's on my side. Now I can jump on that green team switcher or I can just go to the properties here and switch the team that's not me and I'm not on a default team. All right, so now, we're testing him to make sure he works, make sure he doesn't get stuck in midair. And if he gets stuck in midair, all we'll do is use somebody else's, uh, dyna uh, we'll use somebody else's data to get it to work. Or try to troubleshoot it. You'll notice characters with uh, dashes like that. The AI 
doesn't always know what to do. And the same thing happens with Jedi and stuff like that. Oh, I don't have, uh... I don't have... Health regen on Luke. But I do on Anakin. Okay, let's do this. I could use the... You'll not soon forget the lesson I'm about to teach you. So though thus far we're not having any issues with him uh getting stuck or anything like that. Always glad to make a new friend. So that's good. And it seems how he's the only NPC I have programmed in here. So I'll just make those two fight each other. I'm not sure why sparks are coming. I've never had sparks come out of them before. That's weird. You've chosen the path of foolishness. See, they'll throw each other. Even though I turned off uh, throw, it just means that you can't throw. It's fine because, so, especially when they're meet. when they flow like that. Or when they, when you can pop them up in the air, they're easily beaten. But there's a way to turn that off so they can't be knocked back. This is so great. I don't know if that's the, the good one or the bad one. We win. Thanks, Iron Fist. All right. Um, so now, if you don't want them to get knocked back. There's another line that you can add, 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 add. And that line that you can add. All right, so I'm gonna close out our our uh, custom Iron Fist uh, data entry for the data map, because it works. I'm going to close out the stuff we copied from Marvel Battlegrounds. I am going to leave the do toy box data map open. Actually, you know what? I'm going to close it. I want to close it. I'm going to close my tutorials. I'm going to close toy box actors. I'm done with that. We got it all working. Battle arena data map. I got the info from there that I needed. I'm going to close that. Now back to our custom SPD Iron Fist DNAX. I'm going to search for hierarchy. Now, if you remember when I customized Anakin, I just put a zero after default avatar and we were good to go. However, Iron Fist being a 2.0 based character, it might not work. So watch this. If I put a zero here, 
he's probably going to slide around or something's not going to work. All right, so his attacks probably won't work. Let's see if they do. If they do, then I don't have to do anything else. Oh, they do. Wait, all right. All right. Well, there's certain characters, when we come to it, then you'll find that there's an extra step you have to do, and that's adding the dungeon boss's entry in to their uh, data map file. But that's fine. It, if you just override the uh, that particular line, and nobody's going to get knocked back. All right, so that was easy, and I don't have to worry about showing you the extra thing, because it's not going to matter. So, we got Iron Fist going. And neither of he can still pick me up, but neither of us can knock each other because we're both bosses. And as long as I have enough health, I can actually pull off a combo. Good to have you here. And he's regenerating too. See, normally they just break your combo and you can't you'll never get a finisher in. That's the problem with the bosses. You can block if you, if you have, like, nerves of steel. I can never purposely pull off a block on, on a boss character. I win. And see, he doesn't respawn now because we took out the TARDIS thing. All right, so next time we're gonna deal with Princess Leia and her AI is gonna be a little bit different to deal with than everybody else. So until next time, remember to keep on modding, to keep on messing, and to keep on building. Mod, messing, mod, messing, mod.